be changing out the gear oil in this old girl. So let's get to it. All right, after pulling the car in, you're gonna want to uh, jack it up. I always jack mine up just right from the direct center underneath the engine on this, the uh, cross member. And you're gonna want to put some stands down there just in case it falls off so that way you don't die. All right. Then, lastly, all you'll need, should need, is a uh, breaker bar. And you're gonna wanna crawl underneath here. And you're gonna wanna break off, don't break it, but loosen off that drain bolt. It's uh, at the back of the tranny. That's why I normally uh, jack it up from the front, just so that way the fluid will drain out a lot easier. So uh, I've never drained this car's transmission, but I've done it on a few other of my Nissans. So uh, starting to have a kind of scratchy third gear. So I'm hoping that just by changing out some fluid, we maybe get some more life in those synchros or something. So let's see if we can get it done. Okay. And for a good precaution for these old cars that are, you know, almost 40 years old, it's better to get uh, some sort of WD-40, PB blaster, liquid wrench or something like that. And then uh, hit these drain bolts. Just that way it comes off a little easier. Ugh. And there is the... So the drain bolts on the bottom, the fill bolt is going to be right above it. And if you're ever going to do this job, make sure 100% to break loose the, the fill bolt first. Because if you drain out all your fluid and that bolt doesn't come out, well, then you're just stuck with a car with no fluid in it. And um, then you're going to end up having to drop the train to get that little plug out of there. But I'm um, hoping that they'll come out nice and easy. I'll let them soak for five minutes or so hopefully won't have to hit them with a torch but being a Nissan and almost 40 years old man a torch is your best friend torch and cheater bar so if you own one of these get ready to break bolts and have fun with that you're guaranteed, almost guaranteed to snap bolts on these old cars um, this one's pretty nice though it's not so not near as rusty as ones that I've had before all right, let that sit, and then uh, we'll get down there and break them free. Okay, now once those things have been uh, sitting there soaking for a little while, it should be pretty easy for you to turn them. There we go. So that's that one. And let's see if I can get this one. Come on, get in there. There we go. All right, so now I'll get the uh, drain pan under here and let that start flowing out. Okay. Let's see what we get. I hate getting gear oil on my hands, though. How bad is it? Ooh. That's pretty bad. Super thin oil. And it requires 80, 90 weight or something like that. That is not 80, 90 weight anymore. That's like 520, 515. All right. <clears throat> Let's see what we got on the bottom of the drain plug. Little bit of metal, I mean. not the best but I've seen worse I mean uh, if you've seen the differential in my uh, other 300 ZX that I opened up last week and replaced that was a lot worse and it was still driving so let's just hope with some new fluid we don't get a scratchy third but it looks like there's third gear right there I'd say okay drain bolts all back in cleaned off the uh, magnet of all the little small metal fragments 
I'm now going to be pulling off the drain bolt, but I just noticed that my drain bolt has some silicone around it. So I'm hoping that um, that's not stripped or cross-threaded or something by the previous owner. So hopefully that doesn't give me an issue now. Ugh. Okay. So when it comes with these cars, you're going to want to get yourself uh, 80 weight, 90 gear oil. And it's only going to take like two and a quarter. Um pints or quarts or something like that uh, I got an extra bit just because I know that my roommate's probably gonna want to switch his out too if mine looked that bad I can only imagine how bad his is gonna look all right so get myself a little squeeze bottle and get that up in there okay when filling this tranny you're gonna want to get yourself a bottle with a uh, pump nozzle and I stuck the uh, nozzle just like up in the actual hole and then just held the bottom of this and just pumped it straight up and down um, you can get a fluid pump from a hardware store or something like that that might be a little easier but this worked all right it only took a couple minutes and it's on there and uh, last thing to do is just kind of inspect for leaks but we look like we're nice and dry so all right <laughs> gonna call that a job well done all right so just got down to the road let's see if the new training fluid will make it so we don't have a third gear grind anymore